I'm proud to be, be an American. American. We're, we're at least <laughs> that. That's man. We're at least we're <laughs> we're at least that. You know. Yeah. I'm really happy about that video. It brings me so much joy, man. It's like because that dude's pumped. I don't know if Kurdistan is a real place. Kurdistan. That's what he said, right? Oh. He said Kurdistan. Kurdistan. He was pumped to be out of there. He was. He like, sounds like he uh, he knows who the first president was. Is uh. It was George. George, uh, George Bingus. He fucking. <laughs> He was, dude, but he must, Kurdistan, he was literally like, Kur I, Kyrgyzstan. I gotta make a whole new video for this. And he's just screaming, wow, <laughs> America every day, 24 seven. Every day I wake up in <laughs> USA. Dude, he's pumped, man. And that's great though, because I think if we showed that video to like a lot of people who were like, fuck these immigrants, get them out of here. You'd be like, look how much joy. Look how much joy. Look how happy. This is like. That guy's and, prouder to be an American than you are. And, Exactly, and honestly, he's he's got it he's got it right because like, you know, that's what I always say. So that guy, shout out to him. Um, put your hand over your hearts, um, and go to sleep to that song later. And uh, you know, we're we'll we'll enjoy it. So so this is uh, channel one from New Couch actually. So this is Tyler. I'm Mike. We're here from Mike's room. Um, it's a bit different. We're Wait, a bit closer. Is this a smaller couch or do we just get bigger? Uh, I don't know. What uh, Do you think you could get as big as that guy? Can I get as big as that guy? Yeah. If I, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Just give me a few months. Do you, th do, you, do you really think you could? How big do you think that guy was? He was big. Yeah. Um, big guy. Maybe like a good 280 300 if you just lost if you lost control you think you could get up like because that's how my, that's how you have to get that big you know? yeah like, you have to lose control of your life because i if you had that guy's probably like 250 minimum i'd have to gain an a entire 100 pounds like i'd have to fucking work hard it would be hard it would be sure. a full-time job like i would definitely not like i think i would feel sick before i could get that big i always get fascinated with uh i forget his name um, like it'd be a point where you're just like, man, I like I can't even get out of bed. Like I just feel like shit. From but don't you think that's the cycle? Is you're just like, I'm so gross, I can't get out of bed. You gain a little bit more, but then you still like haven't changed your eating habits, so you're still just eating like. Yeah, that's that's usually what happens is like um athletes, like usually athletes that go through like an injury or like yeah. like a big life event that kind of like brings them down. You know, they go, they still have all that hunger from the hunger. The, they still got the, the hunger, hunger the, drive, the drive, the drive to eat. <laughs> yeah, from being an athlete and like just burning so many calories. Um, that, Isn't like that when they crazy? stop burning calories, they just keep eating the same amount. Man, Michael Phelps, I remember he was he was uh, eating like I don't know if it's like fifteen hundred or fifteen or like. Oh yeah, you see 15, like how much thousand? the rock eats too. It's insane. He's like, I like I go to this place, I eat everything in this Taco Bell, then I go to this place and I eat everything. Like in if this the rock didn't work out like twenty four seven, he'd be about he'd, six thousand. Yeah, he'd be a thousand. He'd be, pounds. he'd be a boss. He'd it's be a, crazy, he'd be a thousand pound sister. That guy. I don't think you think. I think he'd blend right in with them. I think he, <laughs> they have similar haircuts. Yeah. They uh yeah a lot of similar stuff foreheads. On. It's all forehead. Yeah. Yeah. His forehead's I, muscle though. Their forehead is fat. They're, they both portrude far. Yeah. They're both distance runners, their foreheads. But I don't know. I, 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 I'm happy for this guy. He, dude, Kanga Quinn. What does Kanga Quinn mean? You know, there's no G just, in there. You think it's a, you think it's a, <laughs> you think it's like, a, like a congratulations. He's like, I made it. I'm in America. This is his, this is TikTok's Borat. You know what I mean? He's yeah. like, I made it. Wah! I like his uh, hashtags too. What are his hashtags? <laughs> He's got Forza Horizon 5 Go. <laughs> He's got Robo Rock Run. And then, Funny of course, your typical FYPs. And then you got your Just Dance with Camilla. Just Dance with Camilla? Yeah. I wonder who Camilla is. Probably Cabello. Pro I like the idea that he's... Uh there's someone else in Camilla Kyr Harris. Kyrgyzstan who is <laughs> who's named Camilla. And he's, uh, he's, like give he's, like, he's like rubbing it in. He's like tags her and he's just like... I'm in America. You said I'd never make it. Woo! You suck. You're in... I bet it's probably nicer he is. He... I don't know. I, I don't know, man. This guy's super interesting. Well, what do you mean me. where he is? He's in America now. Well... Yeah, USA 
you said maybe Texas. You, Texas? <laughs> he did, he did oh, throw okay. Texas in there. Texas, Texas across the Damn, screen. Damn, that's the yeah. last place I'd want to be in America. Do you think? Yeah. Where is the last place you'd want to be in America? Probably not Texas, to be honest. Maybe, where, where do you think? Though? It would have it's, to be Austin. I think it's Oklahoma because it's like kind of Texas, but worse. Because you get, dude, Alaska would be awesome. Alaska is beautiful in the summer. Have you ever seen Alaska? It? Somewhere and I'd want to be for like certain times, nature. and then like in the sure. winter, I'd be like, oh, sure. But there's fantastic here. nature there. I'd love to see a moose. That'd be fucking crazy. I want to see you the, the lights. Pond hockey. You've got aurora. No way. Yeah. No way. Do you have? Uh, there's things I want to see in Alaska yeah, more than most. Things more than in the Oklahoma. United States, but there's nothing I want to see in Oklahoma. Also, living there would be tough. Except for the tornadoes. Oklahoma is just Texas with tornadoes and no like no big city. I guess Oklahoma City is kind of big, but not big enough. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like the odds of you just. Being I actually born went to Oklahoma. Dallas once and had some really good sliders. Dallas is nice. They got good breweries. Like there's cool things Shout in out, Texas, uh, but it's just Jamie fuck Ross. the people in Texas. Shout out Jamie Ross. He lives in Dallas. Yeah, you know? he kind of looks like this the people guy a in bit. Texas. And uh, yeah, the people in Texas fucking keep me out of there. Yeah, yeah no, um, I think I think Texas is going to be like Austin's apparently cool. I bet San Antonio has got some really cool stuff. I bet the board like El Paso, the border by Mexico probably has some really cool history down there. Definitely not the last place I want to be. Yeah. Um, I, I'd rather be in Texas than like Delaware. Like, yeah, no, I was exaggerating just because of their stupid laws. And where stuff, would be? But. I mean, everybody wants to go straight for the Dakotas, and and I don't blame them. I think probably the Dakotas. Dakotas probably like suck. there's no redeeeming qualities to the Dakotas. It just is there. I don't even know what it looks like when it, it's not covered in complete snow. I don't even know what their terrain looks like. I, don't, I just know from Fargo where they just all look like it's, it's just, just like a blizzard ice, all the time. Just yeah, it's just it's just like it would be farmland if it wasn't made out of snow. You know, so. Yeah. I don't know. I think there's probably... Well, give us a comment. Tell us the last place that you would yeah, want to live you would ever want to live in the United States. In the, in the U.S., obviously. We the know Usa. the answer to that yeah. is Kyrgyzstan because this guy... This guy... This guy it's going to be whatever I want it to be. Yeah. <laughs> it's, and uh, yeah, so that's... that's it is always what you want it to be, huh, Mike? You're damn right. <laughs> I like yes, saluting sir. people. I want to start saluting people in public. I wonder if they'd do it back to me like as a hello. You know, like a casual... Like, like I think they'd... Be, I do, that at, the, sort I of do normal, that at the end but, of my meetings, but I do it with two fingers. Oh yeah, you're like, why two fingers? What is what is the? I don't know because my manager does it like with all of his fingers, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm not doing all. I'm not. Of I'm yeah, not going yeah. all the way in. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but that but that is weird. How do you feel? Give I guess him a shocker. <laughs> how how do you feel when he does when he does go four fingers to the dome? Like, how do know, I feel? How do you feel? Did, like the first time, were you like, what the fuck, or like, a little was, bit. It didn't make any kind of sense at all. Like. Is this the same guy who's dropping the R word every time? This yeah. guy's awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Get him on the podcast. This, if you didn't miss, uh, if you know, if we haven't released last week's episode yet, that's <laughs> that's really how I want to say it. Tyler has a uh, a cool guy at his work who uh, has a son who has special needs, um, but he also drops the R word all the time, and Tyler doesn't seem to know if he's dropping it because he thinks he gets a pass or uh, if you know he does that if if he's just doesn't care anyway yeah. um and then he's also t you're telling me he's also he's also saluting. saluting at the end of meetings that guy's got a got an interesting he's got way a personality you know he's, like, he's sure got his things he's yeah. got his things that's <laughs> all i can say speaking of um our words did you hear chris pratt is uh <laughs> is not is like <laughs> mad about garfield and stuff mad about garfield <laughs> yeah did you hear about this he got the voice of garfield he and, got the uh, voice of Garfield. Yeah, no, he, he's Mario and exactly, Garfield. Exactly, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he got he got Garfield and he's and Lego Mario. Man. I think is it is it Garfield or is it or is it something else? I think it's. I'm like pretty sure it's Garfield. Um, again, this Garfield is a, already has a voice. You can't change but, Garfield's voice. But so so he's doing Garfield, right? And he's doing Garfield. He's doing Garfield. <laughs> but apparently, he took to Twitter wearing like um, it was a. I thought it was a super weird video. Uh, maybe I can find it for you. But he was wearing just like um, like an American flag like zip up hoodie um so him and him and our main guy from the start of the video like yeah, must both, have been both hanging out. um and he basically yeah so he's gonna voice garfield confirmed he uh also took to the internet to talk about how hey man quit bullying me chris pratt about voice acting all the time and he like kind of had this sob story about like the internet trolls are taking our jobs they're trying <laughs> to come at us and I just think it's funny for a guy like Chris Pratt to be any kind of offended about someone being like, this guy's going to fucking be Mario. Like, how can you give a shit? They're paying you like a billion dollars. So before we continue this, do do people, do we dislike Chris Pratt? or I, I, I personally think he's a weird guy. I think he's got um, Tom Cruise vibes. 
Hmm. Um, where I'm pretty sure he's super like he got. I remember he slowly turned from like. Um, like goofy goofy guy to kind of like super religious for like oddly like apparently he got really into like um his specific church but i didn't it felt scientology vibes you know what i mean it felt Mm -hmm. like not just like how people are just like i think god's real it felt more like you know i am god i'm gonna play god i'm gonna voice as acts act god next you know and uh the internet wants morgan freeman to be god not chris pratt is that's the truth yeah that's the truth and i I think that's probably i I think anna ferris probably i think she wasn't was she even dating him i thought it was a i thought it was they were married but i thought it was nope it was chris pratt okay well yeah maybe i mean don't even wonder stevie (laughs) what do you stevie because i'm wondering (laughs) see i said your joke and i'm gonna get the laugh yeah that's how it's done but yeah so chris pratt he's he's getting bullied online i just think do you have any room to be upset? He made a video. It's like a. It looked like a Devin D- or a uh, like a Dobrik. What's his name? Devin Dobrik. It's not Devin. Uh, it looked like one of those ap- those YouTube apology yeah. videos where they, he was just like, oh, you know, I just yeah. He's doing the <laughs> Travis Scott like head thing, and he was just like, I just don't get why you know we're doing our best, but the the work. And he's right. He didn't really do anything. I think wrong. it's the back-to-back Mario Garfield iconic characters just being Chris Pratt all of a sudden. Yeah, I, I think I, that's that's what it is. Uh, that's. Do you think he'll do a good job with either of those roles? I think he'll be fine. Like I don't really care about any of those people to the point where it, I think it. Has How do to Italians be feel about him playing Mario, though? How do Italians feel about Mario existing? That shit is an absolute. <laughs> How do the stereotype. Japanese feel about Mario being Italian? The Japanese straight up stereotyped Italian people. Intimate. He was literally like, "What do Italian people do?" They're like, "Probably something gross, like plumbing." <laughs> and they're like, "How do they talk?" And they're like, "Wahoo!" Like they, they were so outwardly racist toward Italian people. And everyone was like, "Uh huh." That's exactly what they, that's exactly what they do. <laughs> and then they're like, and they're always we, chasing women. And then Hollywood was like, "Can <laughs> Hollywood was like, can we get at least an Italian person to play an Italian guy?" They're like, "Fuck no, dude. Chris Pratt. Dude, <laughs> they're gonna play him." Uh, His yeah. family's from Italy, though. Chris Pratt. Me, oh, probably, I don't dude. Know. Everybody, yeah. But yeah, I was talking That's about what this. What he would with, say? He's like my my great grandma is from Italy. I was talking about this with Angelo, where um he's our designated Italian. He's our token he makes, Italian makes the gravy. friend. Yeah, he's. But we were talking about how that's kind of the only group left where you can just be like kind of openly, openly racist toward them. People tend to not care if you say shitty things about Italians all the time. You stereotype them as like every one of them is like, haha, your whole family's in organized crime. You're all criminals. And they're just like, ah, what are you talking about? You know, like, yeah, like they really, they really just don't care. You can just do, you can just do that to them openly. Yeah. On this, like in a courthouse, you know, you could do it anywhere you want. They wouldn't care. Um, but yeah, do, you, do we care about Chris Pratt at all? Like, do we hate him? Do we like him? I don't know because I used to like him in Parks and Rec. Sure, everyone loved Andy. Yeah, and then uh, character. then he had Jurassic Park and World or Jurassic World and whatever. And then he he kind of became like more but hunky. That was, that was where the the brand shifted. Yeah, because he definitely got shredded. He got uh, he became a beefcake. He was a hunk, but he kept he he like switched to like fun time beer drink vibes which you can still have and be a hunk Mm -hmm. to like sort of kind of trying to be like this um like he he just became one of those hollywood figures where you don't know anything about them anymore yeah like they just kind of fade into being a billionaire and that's like cool that's what i that's what i would do like if i became super famous i'd sell out i'd just be but also not of course of course anyone telling you is Anyone telling you you sold out is just a poor person who hasn't sold had the chance to sell out yet. Because yeah. if you get a chance to be a billionaire to be Garfield, fucking do it. But also he's so he's uh he just became this like Tom Cruise guy where everyone knows him but nobody knows him, you know? And <laughs> uh and it's a little spooky. Yeah. And this video to me just felt like such bully vibes where he was like the guy where he didn't do anything wrong, sure. But why do you care? Just get off of all social media. Is there Who anybody that you, that you would not voice act as or anything that you wouldn't voice act as for $100,000? Um, no, I think I do. I think I do anybody. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a lot of money, man. I've never seen that much money in my life. I haven't made that much money yet in my life. You know what I mean? Like that's, and uh, that's, that's just, I just don't see why he cares. Get off of Twitter. If you make, if you have a million dollars, get off of Twitter. Like what are you doing? Because the only thing, <laughs> The only thing you that can happen 
is they take all your money away. That's the only thing that they can do for you there. Like if you if you ha- if you're Mark Zuckerberg, sell cash out. Go. You've got you've won. Get the fuck out of here. Like I'm just like, thinking of like stupid things you could voice act as like. What if you were like voice acting like Garfield's balls or something? <laughs> what would they sound like? Give me an impression. Okay, I'm gonna do my Chris Pratt Whoa. and you do <laughs> <laughs> Garfield's ball. Garfield's like lasagna. Whoa, don't sit on me. <laughs> yeah. That's that's uh who would play those his balls if Chris Pratt's playing Garfield, it'd be like Oh, maybe like Charlie Day would be some good Garfield <laughs> balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlie Day would be anybody who would uh play like a gross yeah, anybody he's like immediately like a, a bad stinky time he, anybody stinky charlie day <laughs> has stinky vibes for sure yeah. he, he would be the stinky guy but we love charlie day yeah but that's because he he's a hunk mm-hmm. who still has like stinky vibes s- b- stinky vibes and i think like uh chris pratt just went from like fun time guy like lovable fun time guy who's like i'm just here to party i'm here to have fun don't take this too seriously to being like the guy who's now wearing these like blue I don't know if he's wearing blue lives matter shit whatever but he's just in this video like looking like he's going to a rally just being like the people are taking my job you know cancel culture is crazy you know I mean I don't think that Chris Pratt should be canceled because he's playing Garfield you know that's not a reason to cancel somebody but unless until we see the performance yeah yeah that that, and that's fair game we can cancel the the whole movie then (laughs) I don't want to really support that anymore but you know who we should cancel who is these uh I see these people on LinkedIn who are chasing clout on LinkedIn Sick trans, dude. That's Sick. a good transition. Yeah. Um, there's a. I have. I don't really go on LinkedIn. What? Yeah, uh, I, what even is it? Um. So LinkedIn we're is not a, sponsored. Is yes, we are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is a social media site for professionals. Yeah, yeah. We've all been on I LinkedIn. Know. Yeah. Um. But now I, I spent a lot. I spent a lot of time on there for some reason, and I don't know why. I think maybe the people chasing cloud are doing a good job. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. But basically, what I see a lot of people doing is they're just asking like stupid questions on LinkedIn just to get answers like they'll be like so an example that i see a lot like repeatedly is do you guys think that interns should be paid or unpaid unpaid and i fucking hate when it'll people be are like paid. like for paid or applaud for unpaid share this if you love god yeah and it's like tens of thousands of yes i love likes it. and replies and i'm like why should is this even a discussion should like be paid. Wh- who is saying that they should be unpaid like who's going to be like, you know what? This would be better if I wasn't getting paid. Every single person who I don't you know who I the people I think I hate most in the world is people who think because something shitty happened to them. They have to like, I always I always worked on paid internships. That means they should pay their dues. Like it's the equivalent the of hell the people about? that don't want student loan forgiveness because, because they already they paid, paid it stu- off. Yeah, it's like, well, you should have like, paid, I just paid them, mine idiot. off. Why should they get it off? Like, get Because you're dumb. That's why should why. they get off? Yeah, why? I mean, get off when you can get, get off. Get off when you, know? you can get off. If you There's can no get better. off without without paying, yeah. then do that, I'd say. you know, i try to do that. Yeah. I'm sure everyone else would too. Especially in No Nut November. No, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not participating in that. <laughs> <laughs> there's a... Uh, there's, um, a lot of people, I think, on LinkedIn though, it they they are playing the game because th- I think the crossover probably between people on LinkedIn and people on Facebook is Very is more than other websites. I don't. I also don't think that people who suck on Facebook are have the capacity to suck on two social media platforms. Yeah. You know who I'm loving these days is the people who are like. There's a major argument going down with people from our our high school right now. I'm going to name drop because that's my favorite thing to do is yeah, name drop people from high school. Peter Wasaki and uh, Joey Spears, I think his name are. These two people are just, it doesn't matter who they are, but go to their addresses, find them. <laughs> like, but, but, but they're both yelling at each other right now about like, um, like trans rights, which like, it's not going to get solved on Facebook, Mm-mm. like, and it's not going to get solved by those two guys, because like, yeah. like I know both of those guys, like they're not yeah. figuring it out. You know what I mean? Like, um, I I just think they should move over to LinkedIn and ask questions about unpaid internship. Yeah, I think like, they have a lot more like sh- subscribe or share. applaud. Speaking of with this podcast, go ahead and like subscribe, share us on LinkedIn, please. Anywhere I'm going to beg. Yeah, I uh, I don't know, man. I'm pretty I'm pretty tired of them. Um, I, I'm tired of watching people on the internet trying to watch. I'm tired of LinkedIn. Um, I do have something that I'm not tired of and I'd love to show you. Do you want to see? Not really. Here we go. Anybody out there, please tell me what this is.
Well, I can handle that. What? <laughs> what do you think that is? That's a baby's foot. That's a baby's foot. It looks. That, that looks, looks like a baby's foot. Looks like an elephant's foot. What are you fucking talking about? That thing is massive. It does have a, a like a pretty crazy cankle to it, though. Dude, um, that it, if you told me that was a baby's foot, like a baby's leg, it would I just would believe been, like, you. Super yeah, in. like you know what's interesting? That's just though? a big old baby. Do you think he has his toes just like rolled under, or do you think their toes are gone, like long gone from from diabetes? It's for sure diabetes, right? Like, oh, it says because he because he says he goes, "What do you think this is?" <laughs> and it says lymph lymph lymphedema. Is that what that is? Lymphedema. I guess that makes makes it's sense. Time to go sounds, to the hospital. Yeah, it sounds like he's having a bad day. Tell him that. Do you think? Do you think this guy can walk? No. <laughs> do you think this he's guy in can, a bed? Do you think he can swim? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he can probably. Float. He can float. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, really think that this guy is having a tough time. You know what's really makes me sad is the. Have you ever seen like a homeless guy who has like legs like that and they're on like the median? Mm -hmm. And they're walking down. Those people, I I feel so so sorry for. There was actually a guy named Eddie who I used to give money to, um, be, and he was like a really cool guy. Like like we just chatted one day because I was like, bro, look at this guy's fucking legs. So I rolled down the window. I was like, dude, what's going on? And he's just like, yeah, you know, life's hard. Yeah, I was like, yeah, dude, gave him some money. Um, we didn't talk about his legs. I thought that would have been inappropriate. Um, In high school, I tried to give a homeless guy on the side of the road Doritos, and he's like, nah, doesn't help him, dude. He needs a he needs money. Remember when uh, Food's there good was? Too, I think. Remember when there was that one homeless guy? One time, I saw Tyler get absolutely traumatized. I know we're supposed to be wrapping up here, but I got a good story. Tyler was absolutely traumatized once um, from a homeless man in Taco Bell. We got Taco Bell. He was excited. He had a twinkle <laughs> in his eye. We were in uh, my old Chevy Trailblazer. We got in it. We pulled around. There was a homeless guy yelling at us. We all turn our heads. He's Winnie the Pooh naked, <laughs> jerking his dingus at us at the window. And I saw life leave Tyler's eyes. Like I saw the twinkle from Taco Bell, the innocence in him just left. He was like, he was like, I didn't feel good. I didn't like that. And um, that's a memory that I got to say years later helps me sleep at night. I fucking love that. I memory, think it's, I, I look fondly on that memory now. Uh, yeah. Well, after you talk to people, you know, yeah, professionals, professionals. Yeah, yeah, you know. It becomes it becomes better, but that's a great story. I, I miss. Yeah. I hope that guy's doing well. I bet he's not. Um, One time too in college, and I actually used this quote earlier, but this is where I got it from. Um, I was just walking downtown in Gainesville, and a homeless guy approached me, and um, the first thing he says to me is like, "You ever have a snub nose pistol aimed at your forehead?" <laughs> and I was like, "No." <laughs> he's like, "You got any money?" And I gave him a two dollar Santa Claus. <laughs> bill from that i got from <laughs> <laughs> like with like with santa yeah like George you get from Washington. Publix and they put yeah. they give you like a like a santa claus dollar was he like thanks bro you just saved your own life <laughs> he kept yeah. walking you know i don't remember i blacked out man that was, guy <laughs> that's crazy yeah. dude i wonder he didn't have a gun or anything yeah he was just asking you a question yeah it's like it's he's probably something enough. he just went through and he's like yeah he's like what happened to you i need two <laughs> santa claus dollars to make sure this is okay yeah yeah man that's crazy i wonder what homeless people are uh i don't know this guy with the legs, though, he um, he's got he's he needs more than more than, than Doritos. He needs more than Doritos. That dude is fucking. He needs that thing amputated. Otherwise, he's fucked, dude. I I get so nervous about feet things. Like, yeah, I just thought it would gross you out. I'm trying to find things that gross you out. I had a really good time grossing you out last week. Yeah. So um, you know, I'm kind of hoping that works again. But it didn't. You you stomached it pretty well. Yeah, you know, no. it's kind of like a like it, it does kind of feel like a mission though because like i said kind of last week we both kind of have these strong stomachs for these videos you see them and you're just like yeah there's fucking people out there who's fucking doing whatever they want you know mm -hmm. um so finding one that gets you is like it's it's a it's a new yeah it's fun you know i mean i'm sure it's easy if you what are you doing quit, quit reading quit paying attention to angelo he's italian he doesn't you know he doesn't deserve our attention <laughs> he does, he did. i saw what he was typing yeah. and i didn't like where it was going <laughs> things that gross out tyler yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, anything else we want to touch on? Are we good? Uh, I want to touch on you. Well, let me turn the cameras off. <laughs> In the meantime, head over to channel one fun at gmail.com. Um, Tyler will put his phone number in the description. We'll let you guys all go and do that. Um, any, uh, any of you guys that um, want to write in, tell us why you hate uh, us, our show, um, any, anything else, uh, let us know. Yeah. Anyway, that's us, uh, channel one. Signing off. That's us. That's Usa. Miracle, miracle.
America of spread your legs on me. me.